Welcome back to my channel. I'm joined by my lovely girlfriend over here once again. Why the did fan you favorite. That space before you said. I was just going. My the, lovely. I was going through the list of words that I could use to describe you, and there was so many. Mm, good save. I'm quick on my feet. Before we get into anything, I want to urge you guys to go ahead and click that subscribe button, and um, also hit the bell for notifications for you every time I drop a video. Now. <laughs> so um, one of my most recent videos with uh, my friend Theo, we were talking and discussing certain questions that certain women had for guys. And during one of our answers to a said question, I got a little bit of feedback from people saying, you know, it's a little controversial of us to say that girls can't have innocent guy friends. Facts. And um, I, I should have clarified that I do believe that men and women can be platonic innocent friends. And that led other people to ask, how do you differentiate when a friendship is innocent and platonic versus somebody having ulterior motives? And I felt like Dominique makes the perfect partner for my video, as she always does, <laughs> because we both have best friends of the opposite sex. Shout out to Aaron. All right, shout out to Sharice as well. <laughs> I'm actually curious, how do you differentiate and identify whether someone's intentions are pure or if they have ulterior motives? So in terms of myself, mm -hmm. I definitely think that, I think that there's like a certain level of intuition that you need to have. Like, how long have I had this friend? Mm -hmm. Did this person just pop up no out of nowhere, out of the blue, wanting to be close to me? Mm -hmm. And what was the reason? Mm -hmm. Like there are certain guys, I know if they message me, like, you're not my friend. Like, yeah. what are you here messaging me for? Yeah. Um, so I think you have to be really honest with yourself and I also think it's different too like Have you do you have any sort of history with that person because I definitely have seen people not for myself Obviously, but like I see people who are like yeah, this is my girl best friend. This is my guy best friend mm -hmm. But like low-key they used to date or like mm -hmm. this is not something like that then I'm like <laughs> But okay, so I'm side -eyeing you I think that's bit. like a separate topic on It is, it is. Let's yeah, let's not even touch it. <laughs> you don't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole? I don't <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you retreat so quickly before. Uh, but, um, we're opening a whole new can of worms. Nah, facts. I agree. That's like a whole nother attention span episode. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But I feel like, me as a guy, mm -hmm. I feel like I have a pretty good read on if a girl is, you know, just trying to kiki key and be friends with me, or if she's trying to kiki key and get comfy with me. You're you know pretty what I mean? good still. We haven't had any problems like that. So I feel like best friendships have been established. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no way I'm gonna come in as your girlfriend mm -hmm. and see your relationship with your female best friend mm -hmm. and be like, it has to go. this has to go. Like, there's no way. I think the discrepancy comes along when it's like, the acquaintances, like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, those people The who, next tier of friendship. Yeah. I feel I, like I also gauge how somebody is in regards to you. Based on someone who's been very vocal and very public about my relationship and where I stand in my relationship, like, how that person acts in regards to said relationship yeah. lets me know there's like some people that i've noticed like even after we've gone together they're like they kind of like taking like a step back and i was mm -hmm. like mm okay you know what no, i mean we're really friends yeah. yeah and i have to say like it's so nice to be with you because i feel like i've actually met a lot of really cool women through you like oh. shout out to his friends all the time because <laughs> i actually love them when we were you know being introduced and stuff like that like they're always like really respectful to me like mm -hmm. welcoming me in as well mm -hmm. as your girlfriend so that kind of shows that they have a, a level of respect for our relationship too mm -hmm. that obviously makes it really easy to trust them like i'm pretty big on self-reflection like I'm, I'm trying to get bigger on self-reflection and like i think i realize now more than like ever like the level of respect that you have for your relationship and the person that you're dating so it's like Setting an example for other exactly people. and i think as a significant other like there's a certain level like you have to be able to give people the benefit of the doubt like I trust you, so anybody who enters your circle or is friends with you, mm -hmm. I'm automatically going to be like, all right, I trust in, you know, your judge of character mm -hmm. that this person is a good person mm -hmm. until they show me otherwise. You're innocent until proven guilty, bro. I like that. So, you know, just to take a little step back from our relationship. I want to be spicy. Old. I want to be spicy still. You know, I got I to gotta drop a little sauce on it. <laughs> so let's just say we're not together. Cut the cameras. <laughs> no, nah, we're not bringing that up. Really. We're not even. <laughs> Yo. Anyways, <laughs> next topic. Okay. You as an individual, a guy is 
making an advance to be your friend. How do you decipher whether it's a pure intention to be just your friend or if he has ulterior motives? Obviously, there's people that just want to literally just be your friend because like mm -hmm. they either they like your energy, they find you entertaining, they think you're funny. Da, 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 you know what I mean? Like I, I've stumbled across. Yeah, I look like Michael Jackson. I don't know. Somewhere along the lines in this video, <laughs> it got brighter. Do he heat me one time, please. <laughs> I want to get you a red leather jacket so bad. Yo, fix it, bro. Ha, bro, you turned white, not me. <laughs> wow, now I'm blick. My black is beautiful. It is. <laughs> and I want even like those of you that are watching this video, feel free to drop your opinions in the comment section. What are a couple things when somebody makes an advance at you that lets you know, okay, this is someone that's gonna just be my friend versus this is someone who has ulterior motives. You know what I mean? Like you're just playing the friend role because I think there's a lot of people that pull up Play the in, sheep's, in, in sheep's clothing. A wolf in sheep's clothing. A wolf in sheep's clothing, <laughs> trying to just be an opportunist, waiting for the right time to strike. Waiting for the advance, exactly. yes. I think the wolves in sheep's clothing, like y'all are- a real concept, bro. They're easier to spot than you think though. Also drop this, like, let me hear it, let me hear it sis. How do you know? I'm trying to be your friend. Okay, majority of the time, to me personally, like I don't have a large amount of guy friends who are super close to me. So nine times out of ten, like if you're coming to me on social media, for example, mm -hmm. you've obviously seen my profile, you've seen the pics that I have with my man, you know he's present, you know he's there. But I know it's a lot of men that are just waiting to come to your page one day and see that the pictures with me are gone. Like I know. But those guys are always quiet. Oh. I think, okay, oh, they, I. They better be quiet. <laughs> they better tone it down. I'm quiet for you out here. I feel like for me, I think for guys, a key thing about women, women are a lot more subtle in terms of them insinuating their interest. If you say, how's your little girlfriend? That doesn't get Okay, that's, that's blatant. That's not even subtle. Mm. That's bare salt. Mm. Salt up the whole thread of combo before <laughs> we even get anywhere. I feel like how unnecessary is what you're saying to me really like mm -hmm. like are you just trying to start conversations you're, you're, conversation? anything because yeah a lot of girls don't even want to have small talk so if you're creating small talk on a consistent basis i'm not saying all the time because there are some people who just generally want to have the small talk all the time mm -hmm. but i feel like more likely than not i would read that as okay you know what maybe there's a little bit of interest i think tone is also really important as well like i just said like the whole how's your little girlfriend thing like mm -hmm. I'm reading into what you're saying to me with a certain tone. I think that the way you're approaching, the way you're wording your messages is very key as well. For me, a red flag for a guy pulling up in my messages, if your first questions are like, what's your mix? It's 2020, why am I not even asking that? I thing? know. Quick question. At what point, when is it something that's even worth being communicated? Because obviously we don't want to just be telling us each other like nonsense. Like, oh, this person said LOL today. Like, yeah, no. no, exactly. But at what point are you like, yo, like this is probably something I should tell Dom just so that she's aware because I don't want her looking crazy in any form or fashion. So let me at least just communicate this to her just for communication's sake. I feel like my answer to that is like, I, I share stuff with you that I probably don't even need to share with you. Like I overshare you're anything. You definitely overshare. So <laughs> yeah, because sometimes I tell you stuff and you're just like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, Shut up, I'm interested in everything you say, okay? Nah, bro, don't play. <laughs> I think you are not obligated to communicate until a boundary has been crossed. Okay, fair enough, I agree. Like, if you wanna tell me like, yo, like I'm with this person, like they're really cool and they have like good vibes or whatever, mm -hmm. fine. But at the same time, it's like, okay. Nine times out of 10, I feel like if there was a person like that, if a new person were to come on the scene and approach me and like try to build a friendship yeah and they say nothing about you or don't acknowledge my relationship at all i'm probably gonna send out a message to like test the waters a little yeah. bit and see like how you're gonna react yeah when i bring up my relationship because I, I agree because i was about to say i'm like yo that person have to say oh like they your don't. boyfriend yeah they don't they but don't it, that's yeah, that's for you to defend yeah to in, insert you know what i mean yeah so, like if i bring it up mm -hmm. and your response is like dancing around it kind of thing. yeah i'm gonna be giving you a question mark obviously it's not a telltale sign that they're just in it to try to think it, yeah. yeah but it's definitely a red flag that i'd be like i'm watching <laughs> <laughs> and i think most women would say they have like a sixth sense and can tell which women in your life are good and which ones are bad. Yo, that's the thing though. I think that I kind of always scoff at 
because y'all think you have the sixth sense. I feel like guys feel like we have the sixth sense for it too when it comes to guys trying to talk to you. It's about <laughs> me knowing what this guy's trying to do with you. Like I know what this guy's, I know. This, this guy okay, over here. Okay, but what if you're just really insecure and you don't Jeffrey know? Jeffrey over here <laughs> doesn't have good intentions for you. Tell Jeffrey to suckle himself. I'm sorry, Jeffrey. Yo, Jeffrey, if you're watching. <laughs> bro, I know you're up to, bro. I know. I know what you're up to. I actually know a guy named Jeffrey needs cool, so nice. Oh, this, my bad, Jeffrey. <laughs> I'm not really insecure like that. Okay, bar none, the end all be all is a certain level of trust has to be present because if yeah. if I don't trust you, you don't trust me, then you're never going to see the possibility of there being a platonic friendship. And if you're like, who's that? Who's that? Who's yeah. that? Who's Bro. It's a dub already. Eventually, nice it. Event, <laughs> yo, I need that in the Bible. <laughs> and then David said, eventually, nice it. Nice it. The like, truth will show itself to you. If there's a wolf in sheep's clothing, you're gonna find out eventually. eventually <laughs> so you know, at the end, of, that's 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 the conclusion right there. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned, and make sure you trust in your partner. Facts. And uh, we'll be back, Michael Jackson. <laughs> 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 <laughs>